as a pair in impeccably good shape. How do you maintain these incredible physiques, Helen Hunt? Oh, good God. Um, stress. Right. Uh, sure. Um, uh, I ride a bike sometimes. I climb a hill sometimes. I occasionally surf. I'm talking so much about surfing now. Yeah. I'm really overstating. But you ride a bike quite a lot. You ride down on the beach, right? I do. There's a bike path on the beach. Yes. I, um, you know, it started as a relaxing thing, but now everybody's like, they're texting on the beach, they're making out on the bike path, they're doing their taxes really? on the bike path. Yeah. On bikes? Yeah, and I've become the, like, you know, aggro. Well, but on your left, on your left, on your left! Yes, I've had this, though. I'm that guy. I know, I've had this. I was, like, wandering, I don't know about oh, bike you're paths. you're that guy. I was wandering along going, isn't this nice? And the guy was like, hey, move! <laughs> But Nick, I can remember you telling me about a story when you got stuck inside the... You got stuck in the gym or under a... This is yeah. what happened? <laughs> no, I didn't, uh, yeah, I got stuck. You know those, like, bench machines where there's, like, the bars on the side? Yes. It kind of guides it down so you can't... I'm saying yes. To... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So I, 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 I'd gone to the gym when I was, like, 16, and I was like, all right, I'm a man now, here we go. And um, I put some weights on the side and then lifted it off, and it just started coming down <laughs> and down <laughs> until it was stuck on my chest. And then I was like, all right, stop. Hang on, on what? Chest. You lay down. I was laying down. Bright. I was laying down. I was like, oh, it's on my chest. All right. I got to get out. So then I started wriggling. And I started wriggling down, which didn't make any sense, because then it was on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like sideways stuck in the gym. This is my, like, my first trip to the gym, my local gym. And I was like, on my neck, and I'm like choking bright red. And this, this guy had to come and help me, and it was mortifying. Um, and now I'm talking about it to you. Yeah. Uh, thanks for but bringing you, it up. But you still work out, just perhaps not in the same gym, right? Yeah. Uh, or it, are it, you, because you have a new hobby. People may or may not know this, diehard Nicholas Holt fans, that he, Nicholas, has taken up knitting. This is true, right? <laughs> a keen knitter, yeah. yes. You yeah. do? I'm a knitter. Oh, well, yeah. here we go. All right, well. We could have it. We could knit we go, together yeah. and be the dullest show yeah. on earth. Oh, hey. Watch us knit. Don't think we're not <laughs> thinking about a bit we can do in a few months' yeah. time. But I, you, this is true, right? You... Well, yeah, I quit, though. I oh. quit. I started knitting on Mad Max because um, one of the makeup artists in, in, on the film taught me how, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm interested in how to do that. Um, and then I started, and then I got orders. People would be like, hey, can you make me a scarf? Can you make me a hat? And I was like, yeah, all right. And so I had a day off, and I had an order for two hats in. <laughs> so on my day off, I knitted for 10 hours straight. I didn't stop. I didn't no. eat food or anything. 10 hours straight. And then, and then after that, I went cold turkey. I was like, I can't knit anymore. It's not fun. And so I haven't picked up a needle anymore. What do you knit? What do you knit? I, you know, I knit a poncho. That was my big, my big uh, moment. Big. Why would you knit a poncho? Because all you need is a sheet and some scissors. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're never more than a moment away from a poncho, right? I thought my daughter would appreciate that oh, it wasn't just it a thing. Her. Yeah, nice going. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, I'll just cut a hole in the fabric. Yeah. Oh, well, that's right? what my mum would have done. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. School. You want a poncho? <laughs> yeah, get out. Yeah. Um, but that's what you need, you know. But you still do it now? Uh, I haven't in a while. It's, it's quietly become stressful after a while. But you, exactly. yeah. right? Yeah, you're really? like, yeah. yeah. Do you get like a hand claw where you're, where you're, you yeah, get like. Yeah, and you like... drop a stitch, and unless you're really good, you can't go back. You drive to the store, you need help. It's supposed to be relaxing, right. and it backfires. Did you get to a point where you could do it without looking? I love yeah, but that. it didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> when someone asks you a question, you're like, mm hmm. Anyway, you, you also, so your other hobby is you do improv. I do improv. Which I find incredibly exciting. I do improv since I'm 16. Yeah. So 15 years. You're part of, you do it every, every week? I send most Sundays with a group called Schplotz in Hollywood. Drop oh. in, come and play oh, with us. Oh, don't. I would give anything don't to do that. Don't say it because Seriously. I will. Is it fake TV I'll come no. and play or real no. I'll come I will come play. in two weeks. Okay, well, everybody has to come and see Schplotz. I'll be there in two weeks. And you, can, <laughs> and you never know who's going to be there. Like, we may not even put your name in there. Everybody just shows up and they go, oh my God, it's James Corden. Or they won't. Or they will. They'll be like, oh, we've never. come on a dud night. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would love it. I would love nothing more. I'll be there.